This is today's pit crew. This is Ginger. This is my mother-in-law's dog. And this is Daisy. Okay, break. Well, things don't always go as planned. So what we're after in taking this apart is to change out this vent fitting with a high flow one, uh, which is what Willie's recommends. So unfortunately, they sent a Dash 8, which I just got off the phone with them. They recommend you use the Dash 8 for the, the best performance. The problem is there's just not room in there to get a Dash 8 fitting. You know, and as I'm, as I'm looking around here, on this uh, top of this superior cell, I, I don't really see where I could have put uh, a dash eight. So, you know, I, I think it is what it is. I, I'm going to have to uh, swap this out. So, luckily, uh, they're just going to send me another one. I'll send this one back to them. So, great customer service from them so far, but that's kind of a bummer. Things don't always work out as planned. Several days later. Okay, it turns out we had some audio issues with uh, this part of the, the recording, so I'll, I'll narrate over it. Um, we got the top of this apart, and we had called Superior Fuel Cells to ask about uh, gaskets and uh, how this thing went together just to make sure we weren't going to break something. And they recommended going to uh, this extended vent tube inside here. So basically all this is is, is a tube nut in a flared piece of uh, half-inch pipe. Uh, half-inch? Half yeah, dash eight. Um, yeah, anyhow, so uh, that the whole idea there is, is to get the vent line down away from the return. <laughs> Okay, I just want to take a quick moment here uh, to point something out. So up until this point, everything that we've done with a carburetor, uh, basically since 2008, has been with JDR Racing Carburetors. Uh, John Dunn over there is fantastic to work with. He's got great communication, great customer service, uh, and, and a great product. I, I have absolutely nothing bad to say about them. Supposedly, the Willys equalizer that we've gone to with the Super Bowl kit here is is the best of the best carburetors right now, and, and it makes more power and it's more drivable. I, I, I Inherent to the design, I can see why there might be some opportunities there. I'm willing to try it. And uh, the opportunity came up here where a friend of mine is getting into modified racing. He needed a carburetor, and I was happy to sell him my JDR just because I know that it's that I can stand behind it and, and that JDR carburetors will stand behind it. So that's how this opportunity came up. Um, maybe someday we'll, we'll work with JDR again, but for now we're going to try this Willie's equalizer. All right. So the carburetor install is complete. We'll go over some of the things that, uh, that we had to do to, to kind of get this installed correctly. So you saw that I uh, ended up marking and shortening all of these studs. Uh, I didn't like they were they were way too tall. You really couldn't even install half of the stuff because that nut would have never came down the stud past 
uh, these four corner adjusters here on the carburetor. So <clears throat> I did a couple things. I uh, cut those down and then I, this also has the Willys uh, throttle stop and return spring bracket on here. I had to open up and slot this back hole a little bit to get this clearance bolt for the, the position of that set uh, correctly. So I couldn't get that bolt in without opening up and slotting this back hole just, just you know, ever so slightly. But uh, that screw is purposely, it doesn't have much clearance in it because it locates the whole bracket, right? So you want that to be tight. Um, <clears throat> anyhow, so that your throttle stop doesn't uh, have to be adjusted if that thing ever moves around. But what I don't like is how hard it is to get this bracket past the studs and, and into location. So I, I shaved a little bit off of both sides here so that it sits down in there a little straighter. Uh, just you know, quick work with, some, with a die grinder and a little bit of file. Not a big deal. Um, the nuts also are very difficult to get to. If you look straight down on that, there's, there's really no way you could get a socket on that. So I'm gonna switch to these um, jet nuts, they're called. And, and that's a, it's a smaller hex with the same size thread. So I need to order a couple more of those, but I think those would allow me to get a small wrench in there and make that work. So coming around the other side, we had kind of the same problem over here as far as tool clearance goes. Uh, I'm a big stickler on that because, you know, a lot of times you see mechanics, they're always making fun of engineers for making things hard to put together. and I take pride in not being one of those engineers, so um, I'm going to hold other people to it as well. Uh, this one is even more difficult, so I definitely need one of those jet nuts there. But uh, anyhow, we're pretty much done with fuel system. I do need to buy a different fitting to put on this hose. Since we're not running a fuel pressure regulator, that's what this fitting was for, was my, my KSC fuel regulator. And then uh, the Dash 6 line would go to, that's that line right there, would go to our KSC pump once, once that's back and ready to go on. So making good progress there. We also cleaned the fuel filter. And then back here, you saw this went together. Um, we talked to, to Superior Fuel Cells. They made that uh, extension tube that, that I showed in the video there. And the whole point of that is to get the uh, return line, that, that's connected to this return hose, to get that away from the vent hose here so you're not accidentally pumping uh, fuel out the, the vent hose because more fuel will be returned with that Super Bowl carburetor. But anyhow, that's that, and uh, it's gonna wrap it up for today. So thanks for watching. Um, you'll see more of these videos as we get ready for Bristol, and we're kind of starting to transition into uh, not uh, off-season maintenance, but setup stuff. So uh, there'll probably be a little bit less stuff to cover once we start doing that, but uh, we're happy to have you guys follow along and uh, happy to be making more content. So thank you for watching. Please do all the YouTube stuff, and we'll catch you on the next one.